I started actually doing art when I was like 15 and I was like grade 10, I think. But it wasn't like drawing or anything, it was kind of like scrapbooking. So I'd like take like pictures from magazines and stuff like online and just like cut it out and make it move in little videos and stuff, but wasn't drawing. When I started making art, it was kind of already established because both my parents were you know, are very creative people. They were active artists when I was born, so I kind of just came out of the womb and they were like, you know, here's a fucking pencil. The kind of stuff that inspires me now is more like, um, like cartoons and, um, cause from those MTV cartoons, I'd watch like Beavis and Butthead. Come on, pull my finger. Nothing? Or, um, that's the stuff Daria when I was a bit older, like, because I didn't really understand it when I was younger. Now, let's all go to hell. Yeah, and Daria's kind of more, my drawing style is more like that, I think. I like to pick stuff from Daria and look at it and like, especially their stick sad world stuff, because I was like, look at that, and I'm like, fuck, that's such a good idea. You know, the Sonic, Sonic Youth Goo album, how it's just black and white, that is my favourite album, not just album cover, that's my favourite that's one of my favourite drawings ever. I love that. I just love how it stands out. I love how it's effective. You can see it from a distance and know what it is. And I just love the contrast. I mean, colours are fun to work with, but black and white, that's always going to have my best interest. That's always going to be what captures me and captures my imagination. I reckon that's pretty much what I do, like, like a 90s kind of style. It's just come to me because that's the kind of music I like. So I'm always listening to that music and it just inspires me a lot. I mean, when my friends who are musicians are trying to make a song, they're generally trying to capture, capture a certain emotion and then trying to add their aesthetic and add their vibe to it. And then, you know, drawing, painting, that's just an extension of that. So yeah, it works really well together in the way that you're literally just expanding on this certain, you know, style of this emotion you're trying to capture. You know, make all your moody, shitty emotions you know, something you can own and something you can kind of rock. Uh, music has a huge influence on what I do. Every session I do with art is always got music playing and it will be through my headphones because it's just like, that's it. Like, everything else is cut off. But I put my, turn my Wi-Fi off, chuck music in, like, that's it. Like, and every, single thing I do is pretty much based off what I'm hearing. I just love music. <laughs> if I wasn't doing art, I'd love to be doing music. Before Rad, I'd drawn on my bedroom walls, I'd drawn around the house, but I'd never actually, you know, drawn for someone else. I'd never actually drawn for someone else's property. Yeah, I, it was pretty crazy, like, doing that for the first time and then seeing the way people responded to it. Like, having the experience of stopping and seeing your art and being like, hey, that's mine. Like, I want to be a muralist. I want to keep doing murals, hopefully, for the rest of my life, because I don't see why I would stop. Like, there's nothing I don't like about it. I mean, when it's kind of windy, it sucks, but. I remember one piece of feedback I got from Bleeding Knees Club when I did that video. Because that was like my second music video I'd ever did. And then it went on TV and stuff, and got a bit more commercial, like nothing I'd ever been in. And someone kind of commented, was like, mmm, uh, song's good, video, not too sure. <laughs> They're like, um, animation, what, uh, lines are pretty thin, uh, don't know about it, <laughs> doesn't really work. And I was like, ah, oh, pretty, like, fair. Like, I wasn't like, fuck that, you know what I mean? Like, I was kind of like, yeah, I looked at it and I was like, my lines were actually pretty thin. And I was like, yeah, I've learned from that. And I have actually. <laughs> I, Dustin, <laughs> I fucking learned from you. I actually do thicker lines now, yeah. If you make something and people don't like it, it's kind of like, oh, well, 
It's already made. It's already out in the world. You have nothing to lose. Like, I've openly had people come up to me at art shows or even just come up to me on a night out and talk to me about my art and what they think of it. And a lot of the time, you know, pe people just appreciate creativity. People just appreciate, you know, other people putting shit out there. And yeah, so I have gotten some strong opinions. I have gotten people like telling me I should do things. Like I, I really have like gotten people who have been like, yeah, I really like how you do this, but why don't you do more of this? Or why haven't you done it like this? It is interesting to unpack how other people have taken your work, but if you actually take it on, you're gonna be driving yourself crazy. It's not gonna be your work anymore. It's like you're just going to be making fast products for people. I'm not giving my secrets away, but I use Illustrator. <laughs> when I get the piece of song, the music, I just listen to it in my room for about an hour. I have my notebook, write every idea that comes to me. Yeah, so that's what I do. I kind of like think back to like all those times I've seen music work really well with film and think about that while I'm listening to lyrics as well. I think the thing about me and Jordan is that we're the kind of people who are just able to have a conversation with any person we come across. Like we can find some random on the street and talk to them about some weird bullshit for the next 20 minutes. I mean, he's a lot more energetic than me. Oh, the art tour. Um, I've actually really wanted to do this for a long time, but I think it's kind of like, just because literally all I look at online is just musicians. And they were always on tour, and I was like, cool, well, if you can do it, why can't I fucking do it, you know? Like, why can't I just take all my shit on tour? Like, that'd be sick. Like, I've done a show in Melbourne before, and I was like, if I could bring that, like, I reckon the show just, like, felt really nice. Like, everyone was just, like, kind of a together thing, like, for art and music, and because I've got bands in and everything. Alice is coming, Doug, and we're all just going to show our shit and just feel like, sick about all our work and I think that's just fun. Say Alice.